As this week's integrated review refresh demonstrated, the Government is strongly committed to bolstering our national security to meet the challenges of both today and of tomorrow. We take the security of government devices very seriously, and we are constantly working to ensure that those devices remain as safe and secure as possible. And so, as part of that effort, I recently commissioned a review by our cybersecurity experts to assess the risks posed by certain third party apps on government devices, and in particular, the installation and use of TikTok. Uh, now, I know, Mr Deputy Speaker, that there has been a lot of interest uh, in this in the House, so I wanted to take the opportunity today to update members. That review has now concluded, and it is clear that there could be a risk around how sensitive government data is accessed and used by certain platforms. As many colleagues will know, social media apps collect and store huge amounts of user data, including contacts, user content and geolocation data. On government devices, that data can be sensitive. And so today, we are strengthening the security of those devices in two key respects. First, we are moving to a system where government devices will only be able to access third-party apps that are on a pre-approved list. This system is already in place across many departments. Now, it will be the rule across government. Second, we are also going to ban the use of TikTok on government devices. We will do so with immediate effect. Mr Speaker, this is a precautionary move. We know that there is already limited use of TikTok across government, but it is also good cyber hygiene. Given the particular risk around government devices which may contain sensitive information, it is both prudent and proportionate to restrict the use of certain apps, particularly when it comes to apps where a large amount of data can be stored and accessed. This ban applies to government corporate devices within ministerial and non-ministerial departments, but it will not extend to personal devices for government employees or ministers or the general public. Uh, that is because, as I have outlined, this is a proportionate move based on a specific risk with government devices. However, as is always the case, we do advise individuals to practice caution online and to consider each social media platform's data policies before downloading and using them. And of course, it is the case that ministers receive regular security briefings and advice on protecting data on their personal devices and on mitigating cyber threats.